Recently I've been seeing a lot of people arguing about this book, the Uranta book. And Uranta means Earth, so this would be the Earth book. There's been a lot of argument and dis uh, discussions about its origin, which is somewhat questionable, about the beings that are being channeled through it, all right, some of the material that is pre presented. Um, I would say this, I kind of want to focus on the positive things about it. I will say from the beginning though, a lot of discernment is needed when reading this book, all right? A lot of discernment, especially in the sections that are concerning the racial part. What they say about the racial history of planet Earth, invalid as even current anthropolo anthropology has shown, all right? Outside of that, focusing on the positive things about the book, the description of the universal angelic hierarchy as well as universal structure is very advanced. I would advise anyone, recommend anyone, look, look at it for yourself, use your own discernment, and kind of check out what they're saying about the organization of the cosmos, especially in terms of the hierarchy, uh, the different angelic realms, the different types of earth personalities, earth angels, they're very, very detailed about the different types of angels that inhabit Earth and the galaxy and the universe. So things like that in this book are worthy of definitely looking at. So I just wanted to throw that out because I've heard a lot of people talking about it and um, discussing about, I think it's Sadler that actually put the book together and it was found, but that kind of like many things is just a tool, a tool for your toolbox. You need several things in there to chop down a tree. You don't just use strictly a screwdriver or something like that. You have to have several things. So use your discernment, gather that. There's another book uh, by J.J. Hurtock, The Keys of Enoch. I don't have a copy of it with me, but that's a good one too. I recommend it, especially for those that have not heard of either of those books. This time, let's talk about remote viewing a little bit. This right here was from Major Ed Dames called The Kill Shot. Many people are familiar with who Mr. Ed Dames are, is once the remote viewing project was exposed, he came forward and began speaking, all right? Um, this video is free from his website. You have to look up Ed Dames, uh, The Kill Shot, I think, .com. Either way, it's uh, free, you just pay the shipping and uh, handling. And what it describes is The Kill Shot it's a solar flare that will come into the atmosphere, penetrate our atmosphere, and knock out our, uh, so our uh, power grids for a span of about several years, which would be anarchy here, even if several of those uh, power grids went down. But before that, he described something called, before the kill shot, there's the bow shot, and the bow shot happened and was supposed to cause a nuclear meltdown in Japan, which would kind of coordinate with Fukushima, and several things like the rust uh, virus, Eugene 99, that attacks wheat. That's something else he predicted. So these are just some things, but I also believe that that's just one possible timeline we're on. It doesn't have to be definite. And I think at this point, through the intent and the will of humanity, through those that care, through the love frequency, this can be altered. This isn't a definite thing. But nonetheless, looking at some of the events he describes leading up to the kill shot are worthy of watching this video. So I just wanted to push that a little. I don't personally remote review. I have some friends that do. They've had some success with it. I think that uh, we can see many things when we start accessing consciousness. So I definitely don't judge it at all. But I think it's something definitely to look into and to take seriously. God bless.